Here we go, church. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21. God put a deep sleep upon Adam. Now, church, I'm about to share something with you about this deep sleep. And I'm going to share it with you because the Holy Spirit of God gave it to me just a few days ago. He said, Donna, if Adam is in a deep sleep, how is he seeing? I said, I don't know. He said, because he is seeing, isn't he? So Adam had another eye that he saw with, and it was not his physical eye. We get you. Good stuff from the Holy Spirit of God. I'm telling you, church, that Holy Spirit be telling some amazing stuff. In the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 21, we see that Adam is under a deep sleep. We see that verse 22 and 23, God creates the church, which is bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh, just like we will be with Jesus Christ in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 27 through 31. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 7, after the fall of Adam and his wife, their eyes are both open. Now, do you see this church? They're no longer looking out of the other eye they were looking through. They are now seeing through their fleshly eyes. And they know they were naked. At another time, I'll do another video on that, showing that amazing revelation knowledge of why they're naked. Here we go, church. Before they sinned, their eyes, physical eyes, were closed because Adam is in a deep sleep. Job 33 and verse 14 says God speaks. Verse 15 in dreams, vision. When deep sleep falleth upon men, verse 16, he openeth the ear of men and sealeth their instructions. Well, you and I both know that the seal is the Holy Spirit of God, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. Revelations chapter 7 and verse 4. So if the eyes of Adam are closed, how is he seeing? In the book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 20, because the things of God, the spiritual realm of God, the heavens are invisible to you and I, fleshly eyes. It is church. We cannot see it. The other day I was sitting in my living room and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, look out the window, Donna. And I was looking out the window. He said, do you have to do anything to see the trees and the grass and the physical things? And I said, no, all I got to do is just look and I can see it. He said, this is true. When Adam was in the garden, he had another eye, the eye to his spiritual mind that made it possible for Adam to see the spiritual and invisible realm of God. Romans chapter 1 and verse 24, the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by eternal powers and Godhead, so they are without excuse. Verse 21, we see once again man using his own imagination against God, and man's imagination was vain thoughts. Jude 1 and 8, here we go church. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 17, the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Read the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 27. Here we go, church. So before the fall of Adam, he was seeing and hearing, not with fleshly eyes nor with fleshly ears. He was seeing with another eye, the eye of the spiritual mind. He was able to see into the invisible realm of God. After the fall, that eye was closed and another eye, his fleshly eyes were open and he was driven out into the world. All he could see then was fleshly things. How are you going to return to a city that you no longer can see? It is invisible to Adam, to his wife, and to the entire world. Here we go, church. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, the mark of the beast upon your forehead. Do you see where I'm going, church? The technology to reopen the eye into the invisible world. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 4, we see the dragon is in the third heaven. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 4, the dragon wants people to worship him. 
Revelation 12 and 9 says that dragon is the devil. So in the last days, people will be worshiping Satan and this beast, which is the false Christ. Where did the devil plant that evil seed of that false Christ? He did it in the book of Genesis 3 and 15, the serpent seed. Now for the reason for the technology to open the eye. That is why the mark of the beast is placed upon your forehead between your two eyes. The devil is trying to open the eye that God closed, the eye to the invisible realm of God, to the invisible things of God, because it's the devil is going to sit in the third heaven that you and I cannot see physically, but with the mark of the beast and the technology that is coming, church, listen to me, church. I'm telling you the truth from the Holy Spirit of God. You ask me for the meat and for the deep things of God. Well, here it is, church. The devil knows that how are you going to worship him and see him sitting in the seat of God in paradise unless he opens up your third eye, the eye that sees into this invisible realm of God. Because I tell you, church, the devil will sit upon that seat in the third heaven in paradise and all those on the earth that have received the mark of the beast will be able to see into that invisible realm of God as if you see into this physical realm. And the false Christ will sit upon the throne in Jerusalem, the throne and the seat of David. So, the, and you can see him, you have fleshly eyes, but you're not right now. You can't see into the third heaven, but the day is coming through that technology. You will be able to see into the invisible realm of God. Are you ready, church? The book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 4, the 144,000 are sealed upon their forehead. God is doing the same thing. God is going to allow, because church, when Jesus takes the third heaven and the devil is cast out in Revelation 12 and 10, when salvation has come to the third heaven and the devil has cast out the accuser of the brethren, Revelation 12 and 12 is cast out into the earth. Jesus is sitting in the third heaven now with the church. Thank you very much because we're going to the marriage supper of the Lamb. So when the devil is cast out, he comes to the earth for the last three and a half years with his false Christ. Jesus is going to seal the servants, have the angels of the Lord seal the servants of God in their forehead, which we know is the seal of the Holy Spirit of God, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30 allowing, opening up that eye once again, church. So those upon the earth, the 144,000 will be able to see Jesus Christ in the church sitting in the third heaven because the eye upon the forehead will be opened once again. And it will no longer be an invisible kingdom of God that the whole world will be able to see into the heavens. And that's why I believe by the Holy Spirit of God, the 144,000 in the last days are being sealed upon their forehead. God will allow them to see into the invisible realm of God. And the heavens will no longer be closed, but it will be revealed. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> that's some stuff right there, church. I'm telling you, it don't get no better than this. It don't. This the good stuff right here from the Holy Spirit of God. And church, I have so much to tell you now. The Holy Spirit is allowing me to teach the deep things that he has given to me. And I have so much to tell you. Church, I have so much to share with you. I hope you like this amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. God bless you, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name. Amen.